Okay, you know how we love our needles in the haystack and we found one um, for you recent. And this one is actually priced under 500,000. Um, it's a 1200 square foot house, three bed, two bath, um, Boyd Acres area um, of Bend within city limits. And it looks to be a pretty nice house. Now we are on Boyd Acres Road, which is a busier road, which may be an issue for um, a primary residence and potentially some resale value. But uh, when it comes to short term rentals or nightly rentals, I don't really think people are paying attention. So um, this one is built in 2005 and we do not have any parking out front, but we have designated parking spaces out back. And we've got a little driveway. Um, so out front we've got overhang, no gutters out front, but I don't think a lot of people are using your front door anyways. Um, a nice uh, enclosed backyard space, definitely a newer um, fence. We are looking at vinyl siding, um, double pane vinyl windows. Uh, we do have some irrigation set up back here, which would obviously be look better with some mulch underneath perhaps. Um, and some garden beds, looks like some fruit trees as well. Um, but in general, upkeep on this house looks decent. We've got a gutter where it matters most, where we'll most likely be entering this house for the most part. Um, but again, a decent sized lot for this part of town and this price point. Um, here is where we see the parking situation, which is alley parking, um, your own alley access and then down this side of the house um, where we don't have any fencing, but there's just our gas and electric meters. Okay, so for today, we're gonna treat the back entrance as the front entrance, because again, this is um, how I think most people would be entering this property. Floors were recently done. This is an, an LVP, a lighter like white oak color. Pretty trendy these days and nice and light and bright. Um, off to the right here, we do have a washer and dryer, um, which are included with this property, just a pretty standard uh, light fixture. And then entering into the garage, um, which is a nice size two car garage, not deep, um, but we, this is where the hot water heater and the electrical panel are housed, um, as well as the irrigation solenoid there. So the laundry room has its own separate door. So coming back from the laundry room, you know, knowing that there has recently been flooring done, I'm paying attention to trim work, um, which definitely uh, leaves a little bit to be desired uh, in terms of touch up. Um, and then here's our kitchen space, which we've got uh, an island big enough to seat two, pretty standard uh, early 2000s style white appliances. Uh, these are our hollow core wood. I think definitely original. Laminate countertops, two basin stainless steel sink, um, view from the kitchen. And micro hood, clean oven. This would be obviously your dining space with the chandelier um, opening up into the uh, living area with gas fireplace, um, all kind of considered a great room. We do have some blinds in place, which is nice. Um, I do hear the road a little bit, I will say. Um, some vaulted ceilings, and we've got a coat closet here for extra storage, and then a pantry space for the kitchen with a light in there as well. Um, and then some extra nook type storage space above the kitchen and the fireplace. And then heading down to the hall where there are the three bedrooms and two bathrooms. First one on the left, pretty standard size bedroom like we see in these three two homes. Um, you're looking at about 10 by 10 standard. Uh, eight foot ceilings, hollow core wood door um, for closets, trim everywhere else looks 
good besides that one spot I saw in the kitchen. Attic space, HVAC access for drawing air. Bedroom number two, maybe ever so slightly bigger than bedroom one at a 12 by 10. These are both facing the road. And then moving across the hall, um, actually we'll pit stop in the other full bathroom. Standard fiberglass stall insert tub. Everything's very clean and fresh feeling in here. Um, one of those almost like lips, lipstick type renovation jobs could be done um, if one wanted to improve things like uh, lighting and fixtures and bath bathrooms, countertops, even the cabinetry I think is good enough to keep. Um, doors are nice enough. Um, so I don't even feel like, you know, things are crazy dated in, in that way, but, uh, hardware on the interior of the doors has been painted. Just as a side note, nice little vaulted ceiling feature in the primary bedroom, and we're probably looking at a 12 by 12 in here. So as we creep up in bedroom number, we're also creeping up in size ever so slightly. Um, matching blinds in here. This one has got a lovely view of my next door neighbor, um, but a nice fabric texture that brings some softness into this house. Walls are kind of like a very, very, very pale yellow um, to beige type color. Um, walking into the primary bathroom suite, there is some degree of separation between the vanity and toilet and, and, and walk-in walk fiberglass shower. A slightly upgraded shower head there. Um, also, Looks like a newer fan light combo, although, oh, just kidding, that's just a heat lamp. Um, but maybe a fan too. Oh yeah, that's a fan light combo, okay. Um, but the light is just a little offset, that's all. Um, and then walk in closet, not giant, but would suffice again for the purpose we're looking at for this house. Um, if you're wondering, uh, how to actually go about uh, going through the process of um, permitting a short-term rental for the first time uh, in the city of Bend. You found the right people and we find the houses that are eligible, which are very few and far between. Um, and this one, you might actually be able to make work. Give us a call.